Oh, it just drives me nuts when people are so quick to criticize somebody yet they're not doing it themselves. <laughs> All right, so there's been a little bit of drama in the high carb, low fat vegan community lately. And I actually don't wanna talk about the drama cause you know, you can find all kinds of videos on that. And uh, I personally enjoy all people involved. <laughs> I don't take any sides, um, though I do disagree with some of the things that have been said. Anyway, I wanna talk about a couple topics that have bubbled to the surface because of this recent drama. And by the way, I think drama actually is kind of healthy. Uh, sometimes it brings up important topics that need to be talked about. I just, the part I don't like about the drama is when people start talking about each other, naming names and pointing fingers and all that and putting each other down. I think that's just silly. But uh, some important topics have come up has actually been some things that have been bothering me for a while before this drama. So I just want to put my two cents in about these things. So what I want to talk about is the relationship between raw till four or high carb, low fat and orthorexia and uh, I want to talk about uh, vegan activism I guess like the right way to promote veganism so let's start with the right way to promote veganism in my opinion the best way to promote veganism is whatever damn way you want to <laughs> or don't want to uh, my husband's not active in this regard he doesn't have a YouTube channel he doesn't really share a whole lot of articles on Facebook about veganism, yet he has done a big part in helping the planet and saving animals' lives by choosing not to eat them. <laughs> and kudos to him for doing that. If you want to promote veganism through means of education and educating people on uh, the agricultural industry and animal cruelty, that's totally awesome. Really to me what it comes down to is following your passion. Somebody wants to promote veganism through uh, fitness and health, uh, vitality. I think that's fantastic and they're gonna get a lot of people interested. I don't think it's right to point your finger at another vegan for promoting veganism that way. And I get the reasoning why some of you feel so strongly about it. Because um, you see vegans or you see people come to veganism for health or fitness and they don't get the results they want so they go back to eating meat and I understand that is where your passion is coming from and also you want people to know about the animal cruelty so that they don't ever go back to eating animals so it's not just about vanity and health and fitness you want people to have that solid foundation I get it and I would like that too but I know realistically that people don't they won't they turn a blind eye to that stuff so not everybody wants to see the truth and even it's right in front of them um, some people don't even care about the animals so if somebody goes vegan just purely for their health and they're plant-based and they'll never go back because they know how unhealthy it is some of the plant-based doctors are that way um, they don't even talk about the animal side of things they don't even talk about the v word because they know that people are turned off by the v word we can't expect everybody to feel the same way about veganism as we do yeah if you i've said this before in other videos if you feel like somebody is out there spreading the vegan message in the wrong way uh just do it in a way that you want to do it. So if you don't have a YouTube channel and you're complaining about freely and you don't do anything for veganism other than flap your lips about other people doing it wrong, then grow some balls or a vagina and start a YouTube channel and do it in a way that you want to do it instead of criticizing somebody else. Yeah, and another thing that bothers me, this brings up the topic, is that some of those people that even have YouTube channels that are criticizing other vegans for not doing it for the animals, they actually aren't even doing hardly any videos or I can't think of any videos where they're actually talking about animal cruelty or educating people on it. So get out there and do some activism. Oh, it just drives me nuts when people are so quick to criticize somebody yet they're not doing it themselves. <laughs> so, so that's that. Whatever way you want to promote veganism, I'm totally cool with and 
yeah, you got to do what you're passionate about. All right, so next I want to talk about the relationship between Rossville 4 and orthorexia. And this is just my perspective on it and how it affects me. And I'm getting tired of attitudes that I see all over the place uh, in groups uh, from other YouTubers. I'm not saying it's like huge. It's not, I shouldn't say all over the place, but I see it here and there. And it just annoys me because it almost gets to the point where I feel like I have to justify why I'm on a high carb, low fat diet. It's like you're automatically orthorexic because you're on raw, raw till four or high carb, low fat. Or if you um, support Freely and Durian Rider that you're some dumb cult follower <laughs> because you support them. I just, ah, oh, that drives me nuts. Um, I have a respect for Freely and Durian Rider. I don't agree with everything they say, but I respect them and they've veganized a lot of people. And I think we can all learn from the plant-based doctors, all the high-profile plant-based doctors. I know for a fact they don't all agree with each other on the right way to eat vegan. But we don't see all their drama and they, we don't see them putting each other down. Now if you were to ask Dr. McDougall what he thinks of Dr. Furman's diet, um, I'm sure he'd squirm in his seat a little bit, maybe, but... If it isn't Dr. Kale, it's Dr. Potato. <laughs> Are you drunk again? Oh, well, at least people can, if you can afford my soup, you, oh no, you have, you cater to the wealthy. That's, that's what you do. Only the wealthy can go to your clinic and only the wealthy can afford your soup. Um, he wouldn't put him down. He wouldn't put his diet down. He would talk about what's good about his. He wouldn't, he wouldn't bring drama into it. So I just feel like we all have something to learn from these high profile plant based doctors and you know yeah let's stop criticizing each other the end result is less animals are getting eaten and we're all working towards the same goal whether or not our focus is the same it doesn't matter so all right that's it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video bye oh. I'm trying to keep all the dogs from fighting each other <laughs> Penny and Teddy are okay, but this little one, she's very picky. She doesn't really like Teddy that much.